yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. God, yes. I don't know which is the worst death, like those guys on the Oklahoma. Pitch black and that water coming in, coming up on the deck, on, on the floor, at from deck. No escape or anything, this slow death. Now, after 70 years, <laughs> don't leave me. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. I saw these high-level bombers coming over, and uh, that's when we took off for the parking lot. My bunk was right about up in here on the second floor. That's the door I came out. There used to be a sidewalk right out this way. Nearly two million people make the journey to Pearl Harbor each year. Only a few bring Pearl Harbor with them. Sometimes I can't remember what you told me last week, but I can remember everything, dates and everything else, relating back to 70 years ago when I was a 17-year-old kid came here to Pearl Harbor. Just hours after touching down in Hawaii, make a line here. 18 Wisconsin veterans make history. We have never seen a group of survivors this big come back to Pearl Harbor from one state. This is a first. The veterans gather in an area known as Contemplation Circle. In the distance, the USS Arizona Memorial, triggering vivid memories of that fiery, horrific Sunday morning more than 70 years ago. Very end over there, there's a seaplane hangar. He dropped his bomb in that seaplane hangar and it was a great big red ball of fire and a big black puff of smoke and then all hell broke loose. It was chaos is what it was. And all I could see was those rising suns flying around. Wow. Them Japanese planes came in from here and here and here. I don't know how they didn't run into each other. There were so many. There was one fella uh, kneeling on the on the floor, and I grabbed him and I said, it's too late to pray now, we better get the hell out of here. We were hit by a torpedo. We took a lot of hits. And you take the Arizona. Them guys got up there that morning and had their breakfast or whatever, and they're still right there. Of all the times I've been here to Pearl Harbor, and here in Hawaii, I don't think there's been a time that I felt so complete in what happened here in the last couple of days. And I'll go, I'll go to my grave, and I'm sure I'll never forget. By land. Looking sharp, buddy. And by sea, the veterans went back. Looking good. Back to where they served, back to where they survived. Well, at first I thought it wasn't going to affect me too much. But it, it has. It's tough to see all the, the, the misery that was created and changed our life so much. More than 70 years after the Japanese attack, most of these men met for the very first time. What ship were you on? The connection, instant. The bond, forever lasting. We have a special group, people that uh, went through that uh, terrible thing and uh, survived it and uh, have lived this long. 